Hi, what if I told you that you can convert plain English into amazing diagrams and infographics? Yes, we are talking about Napkin AI, the new tool which revolutionizes uh, diagrams, charts and infographics in the world of AI. So Napkin AI is a free tool and you can sign up and you can just tell the tool what you need. For example, you can have a document or you can have AI draft your idea and then it will generate mind-blogging diagrams for you. So in this week's Generative AI for IT Professionals series podcast, we will explore the basics of Napkin AI. We'll pick up some use cases which are you know, more or less related to the IT industry and see how we can leverage it to come up with beautiful diagrams. And if you're somebody just like me with uh, very minimal artistic skills or knowledge, then this tool is just for you. You don't need to have any artistic ability to use Napkin AI. All you need is an idea about what you really want and express that in English, right? So without further ado, let's jump into the demo. All right. So to begin with, all we need to do is just search for Napkin AI and you can see the very first website, napkin.ai. Just click on this and you have this button called Get Napkin Free. You can sign up for a free account. I already have one, so I'm just going to click on Sign In and it should take me in. All right, so this is how the napkin interface will look like. Now let's try something, uh, you know, very interesting, right? What I'm going to do is I'm going to ask napkin to create a visual for me. So there is a button called new napkin, as you can see. I'm going to click on new napkin. Oops, sorry. And when you click on new napkin, you can see there is a draft with AI and blank napkin. So you can ask AI to generate a content and then napkin can convert that into a diagram. And let's try that. I'm going to click on draft with AI and I'm going to say best practices for a candidate for a tech interview at a global IT firm. So this is my prompt. So I just want to see what are the best practices if you are attending a tech interview. I can just say continue. And now the AI will write all the best practices for me. Now you can either write it by yourself. I'm just taking the help of AI. So basically they're saying, you know, you know, you uh, understand the company, prepare for the interview, you understand the role, mock interview, blah, blah, blah. Now I want all these steps to be converted into a diagram. How do I do that? So all you need to do is just select everything and you see this blue, uh, you know, icon on the left hand side called generate visuals. I'm going to click and see the magic happening. Now, if I scroll down, it'll create a diagram for me right here. See, and the beauty of napkin is that it gives you these different styles to choose from. So this is called the pyramid style. Maybe this is not what I want for an interview prep guide. And then you have another style, another style. So it gives you more and more styles. See this? So this is like a funnel. Probably there's another funnel. This is sort of like an old camera. There's a real funnel. <laughs> so you see all these different styles that it comes up. And these styles will have further enhancements. What I mean by this is, let's assume this is the diagram that you want. You can click on this arrow. And you can see there are different variations of these styles. So you have a black and white, you have a color, you have the text changed, the font changed. Now, maybe for my use case, what I would love is I'm looking for a uh, what interview prep guide, right? What I like is probably this. I mean, I like this. So I can just click this, click this and look at this. So this summarizes everything that I should concentrate on. This can be a ready reckoner for me. So you can see there is dress appropriately and what it means, understand the role, the subsections, everything neatly aligned. And the beauty of napkin is you can download this. So there is a download button here, export. If I click on the export, you can save it as a PNG, SVG or even PDF. I'm going to save it as a PNG, click on download and download. That's it. Now, if I open the diagram, see this, right? We have a brand new visual representing the 
tech interview preparation tips. So this is how easy it is to get started with napkin. And there is a lot of customization you can do. I don't want to get into too much detail now. For example, you can click here. You can change the font. You can change the color. You can have arrows. You can have extra icons. So many things you can do. You can even add your own images within what napkin is generating for you. Now let's pick up something even more technical and try to come up with a diagram. Okay, so this time again, I'm going to click on new napkin and I'm going to say draft with AI and I'm going to say I would like to have a MySQL oops, database maintenance guide. Okay, so let's create a database maintenance guide and AI is creating that for me. So it basically says, you know, if you have a MySQL database, you need to have regular backups and there are like backup strategies. You have performance tuning, then, uh, you know, documentation, typical uh, stuff related to database management. And let's say we want a quick diagram for this or a quick infographics for the same. Again, what you can do is you can select everything, ask napkin to summarize and create a visual and let's see what it comes up with. All right. So it, it initially gives you this sort of like, I don't know, Lego block kind of thing. Probably I don't like it. And this is something that we saw in the interview prep guide. I don't like it. Probably this is also fine. So maybe I can go with either this. This looks nice. It looks like a cycle or even this. Right. So you have different styles to choose from. That's basically what I like about napkin. And what I can do is I can go for this. And if I click on the style, you can see there are different options to choose from. So I can go for this solid color one. I like it a lot. You have many options. You can check it out. I'll go with solid one and look at this MySQL database maintenance cycle. So it's a cycle, right? You take regular backups, you do performance tuning, security measures, monitors and documentation. This can go right into your enterprise documentation for your company, right? And you can be a champion because you created it in less than five seconds, right? So, so this is how efficient uh, a napkin is. You should have a bit of idea about what kind of visuals it you need and how it is going to create it. Uh, so you need a bit of learning curve, but, but I feel it is like really easy to get started with napkin. Now I'm going to pick up something more related to my field that is data engineering. So we have something called the medallion architecture, right? So this is the Databricks official diagram explaining what is medallion architecture. So medallion architecture is a way to store and refine your data into different layers so that on the final stage it is ready uh, aggregated and ready to be reported right uh, so i mean for reporting purpose you can use the final layer now if you look at here you can see the on the left hand side you have batch data and streaming data that is a raw data coming into what we call the bronze layer right so the raw data gets into the bronze layer and then you can do filtrations, cleaning, and then it moves to the silver layer. And from there, it moves to the gold layer. So you have aggregations and all, and then it goes to gold layer and you have a golden copy of data. Now this data is ready to be consumed by your business intelligence to tools such as Tableau, Power BI, etc. Now I don't want to get into too much into technical details as to what is the medallion architecture, but my intention is I want to replicate this in my napkin. So how do I get the medallion architecture inside napkin? Now hear me out. It is a bit tricky because if you go to napkin, you cannot do this using AI. So what you need to do is you have to go to new napkin and you say blank napkin. So I already have a blank napkin. So for this use case, uh, for coming up with the uh, medallion architecture, uh, let me copy paste something. Then I will explain this. So you can see that I have sort of like a special syntax, if you will, like begin the diagram and then you can see there is the end the diagram and here I have defined what I need. For example, I said I need a node by the name bronze layer, then I need my silver layer, then I need my gold layer and then I have these connections between them because I know that from bronze layer it has to go to silver, then silver to gold, then gold to the BI tools right and end the diagram. So we define the nodes and the connections. And if you're somebody who is coming from the graph theory background, then this may f 
I mean, find a little bit uh, similar to what you have learned, edges and nodes. So you use this kind of like syntax. I won't call it as a syntax way of representation to come up with a diagram uh, for the Medellin architecture. Now let's select all this and tell napkin that we need a diagram and we get a diagram, but I really don't like this diagram. See, this is our Medellin architecture, right? And I don't really like this diagram. Let's try something else. What about this? No, <laughs> probably not good and not good. And again, arrows and all. But if I go down all the way, let's see if we can find something that resonates with the Medellin architecture. We should, by the way. And there you go. So I really love this. If I go here, I can choose options. And let me probably choose this option. And look at this. So you have your bronze layer where the raw data comes in. And from there, it goes to the silver layer where the data cleansing and transformation happens uh, using Spark, tools like Spark. That's what we mentioned in the uh, uh, instruction. And then there is the gold layer where you get the aggregated golden uh, uh, data. And then you have the BI tools for visualization. So Napkin has done a good job of coming up with a diagram for a typical medallion architecture and this is what I wanted and it's it's pretty neat right I mean you can you can of course modify this further in the sense like you can have your own visualizations you can <clears throat> change some of these icons and all but but look at this this itself is enough right I mean <laughs> so so that's how easy it is now let's take one more example and then wrap up the napkin AI discussion so now let's go to the last part and and I don't know how many of you had observed this for creating this diagram, right, your uh, so-called medallion architecture, I went to new napkin and I selected blank napkin. I didn't go with draft with AI because with AI, you just give a concept and it'll elaborate and that's not going to work for uh, these kind of diagrams. So I went to blank napkin and then I wrote, I copy pasted basically, but I wrote this sort of like dialect for napkin AI so that it creates whatever I want. Now let's take this one step further. Imagine you're working in a company and you have a daily batch job that moves the data across these layers. So you're running a daily batch job. So the data first lands in the bronze layer, then it goes to silver, then gold, then finally there is visualization, right? Now I want to create sort of like a flow diagram for that, for my daily batch job, right? So how do I do go about it? So I'm gonna click on new napkin. Again, I'm gonna say blank napkin this time. And then I'm going to copy paste this and you can see there is a lot of stuff in this. But if you carefully observe, you can see that I mentioned something called step. So step is like one icon in your flow chart. So what is the first step? So you start the daily Azure data factory pipeline execution. So imagine you have a daily workflow using the popular Azure data factory ETL tool. And the next step is we're going to ingest raw data into bronze layer and some uh, details about it. And then we are going to have these decisions, right? So you have these decision boxes. For example, it says, is raw data available? And there can be yes, then do something. And if it is a no, then do something. So no means correct file. The next step will be we move to the bronze layer transformations again. Um, you know, we have different decisions here. You can see, does the data meet quality standards? Then yes, do something, no, do something. Again, we move to the silver layer, the gold layer, finally to the BI tool. I mean, I, I really don't want to like explain each and every line of this, but imagine you have a daily batch job kind of thing where you have to make multiple decisions and you want to put all of them into sort of like a flow chart. And now let me show you how powerful Napkin AI is this. I mean, how powerful it is for this kind of like a job. So I'm just gonna select the whole thing and I'm gonna say create it for me. And now see what it comes up with. Let's wait for the diagram and not this what I'm expecting. <laughs> so I mean, yeah, this is the first one. It's very interesting, right? This is not what I really want, but but we get options. So if I go to the second one, uh, not exactly my choice. The third one, not my choice, but the fourth one looks like what I want. It looks like a flow chart, but not really what I want. Let's explore the options. And there you go. Look at this. I just created this, the Azure Data Factory Pipeline workflow. 
start the pipeline is the raw data available no then we're going to send an email alert right if raw data is available we're going to ingest it we're going to do a data quality check and if the data meets quality no the pipeline fails if the data meets the quality we transform the data then we load to the silver layer and is the silver data quality acceptable again no quarantine the data yes proceed to gold layer aggregate the data create gold tables trigger power bi refresh to visualize the data look at how capable this tool is right so the only thing is that you have to play around with the tool a little bit to understand the way you have to write these things for simple diagrams you can use this ai but but if you want a custom output something like this then you have to come up with these steps and you need to have this workflow uh, the steps are encapsulated within the workflow then you need to have decisions uh, and then how and then following this very easily you will be able to create this and let me download this export it as a png and then you can choose the mode for example i can go for a dark mode and i can just download it save it and this is for the this is for your manager for the next appraisal. <laughs> I'm just joking, but you know, look at the quality of this stuff, right? Yes. So that's how you get started with, uh, you know, Napkin AI. And I request each and every one of you to explore it further. All right. So that was a quick demo of Napkin AI, and I hope you really like it. Now, are you using any Gen AI productivity tools for your work? Then let us know in comments which tools you are familiar with. And also, I request you to play around with Napkin AI, create some diagrams and, and use it wherever you want. And uh, so in, in case if you're somebody who is watching the Generative AI podcast series for the very first time, then we have our entire playlist here. Go check out all the videos in the playlist and consider subscribing to our YouTube channel, like the video and share it with your friends. I'll see you next week with another brand new video related to Generative AI. This is Raghu signing off.